going on YouTube is your boy Jesus AK Flocko back for another video yes sir today's video is really like not sentimental or emotional but it's more like like it's like a happy video I'm on my way to the airport right now I'm about to pick up my homie who's been locked away for two years he moved he moved to Atlanta he never came back to LA bro Atlanta it's not it I try telling him now he wanna come out and visit, try to see what the fuck is out here in LA, bro. It ain't nothing better than the City of Angels, baby, come on. But yeah, he's been locked up for two years. He's back in LA. So right now we're heading to the airport to pick him up, man. I'm about to show you guys who it is once I get there. But yeah, before anything, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I have been getting messages from my homies and shit. And even people like commenting on my videos asking, Yo, where the fuck are the vlogs at? The pranks at? All that shit. You know, it's been a minute since I uploaded one of them. It's been a minute since I even uploaded a reaction video. But right now, I was like, I have my main focus on on uh, skits or like shorts and shit because it's been doing good. You feel me? It's been doing good for me for my channel. And uh, my goal is to keep growing to make something out of YouTube because I love YouTube. I want to make a career out of it. So whatever's working for me, it's what I'm gonna be posting. But yeah, this is the, the vlog that's gonna be back. I'm gonna start vlogging more of like of what I do on a daily basis and shit. So yeah, man, just subscribe, like and comment on this video. And yeah, man, tell the homie, welcome back. Hey man, we almost out here. We already out here by the airport and shit. Hey, I know the homie's hungry because he told me before he got on the plane, he texted me saying, hey bro, uh, is it cool if we go eat some after like I land and shit? I was like, say less, bro. You feel me? Like, I haven't, I haven't even seen my boy in two years. So why would I turn down a dinner with my boy like that, bro? You feel me? And everybody that knows me and my boy Chris, we go back to like 2018, I think 2017. It's been a minute, bro. It's been a minute. That's all that matters, bro. It's been a minute, and there was a time where me and him, all we would eat all the time. Well, not all the time. It's like when we're bored at home or when, like, after school and shit. You know, we would go halves on a pizza at Blaze Pizza, bro. So right now, when he asks, "Hey, bro, what are we gonna eat?" or I'm gonna ask him, "What are you trying to eat?" I'm gonna see. I'm gonna just tell him or mention it to him. Hey, bro, like, I, I, like let's go eat where we used to eat all the time. I'm not gonna tell him Blaze Pizza. I, I just want to see if he's a good friend and really remembers, like, or goes back to what, where like me and him come from, bro. You feel me? So I want to see if he's a real homie like that, bro. He remembers he's a real homie. If he doesn't. Never picking them up again, bro. That shit is crazy, fellas. We out here in the airport and shit, right? Bro, tell me why I tell my homie, where you at? He said Terminal 5. Bro, you... That's what I'm saying, bro. Why you go move to Atlanta for, bro? He said, I'm riding Spirit, bro. I only take Spirit to Vegas, homie. I don't know how to get my homie to understand and come back to LA, man. Once he told me he's riding Spirit... I feel bad for him, bro. Like, like that shit just got me depressed right now, bro. Like, I'm about to cry and shit, bro. Why is he running spirit, man? Look at this, fellas. This is what I'm talking about, bro. We're in the airport, and I done told him, hey, bro, where is spirit flyers going to come out from? Because it only says, like, Texas and other shit, right? I say, where can I ask somebody from? They say, ask the spirit agent. But they ain't even on the clock, bro. That's all I'm saying. You feel me? Don't ride spirit, man. Don't ride spirit ever. I'll co-sign. <laughs> Fuck spirit, huh? <laughs> See what I mean? Look at the big homie right there, man. You feel me? Fuck spirit. We don't do spirit. And my boy said, what's up to the vlogger for the one time, though, bro? Right. Like, that's my boy Chris right there. They done freed my boy out the suburbs. Now he's back in the <laughs> trenches, you feel me? <laughs> you know, he's in L.A. now, bro. Hey, bro. Yeah. All the people are saying move back to L.A., bro. What the fuck are you doing in Atlanta? Yeah, no, man. I can't move out here, bro. Bro, <laughs> one thing about L.A. is that L.A. is a city of opportunities, bro. Atlanta is like... For motherfuckers that, like, they're low, bro. They're low-key out there, bro. What are you doing out there? You can't be out there your whole life, bro. You know what I'm doing out there, my boy. Hey, fool, what are you trying to eat? I'm doing some in and out or what? <laughs> I'm 
What do you guys want? I'm actually down for anything. I'm, I'm actually pretty hungry, to be honest. Is there in and out over there? Yes, then not by the house. No, in um, Atlanta. Bro, they got a fake Jack in the Box in Atlanta. What haven't you ate? What is it called? What is it called? Jacks. <laughs> Jacks. <laughs> no. And they got the same menu as Jack in the Box. <laughs> yeah. Bro, what's uh, wrong with you, bro? The last time I had Taco Bell was the last time I was out here. <gasps> I mean, uh. Nah, bro, but Taco Bell that chorro, fool. You can't do Taco Bell. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. But I was telling my people, bro, that, you know, we'll do in and out but I was going to take you, fool. An our spot, for what's our spot? You talking to me? Yes. Oh, shit, I don't know. What's our spot, for before like, before any of this shit, like? Blaze or what? <laughs> <laughs> real homie, real homie. I'm not forgetting this shit. Bro, how many times a week would we go to Blaze? All the time. You go like every week. <laughs> every week, every day, bro. After after school, even in summer, bro, I would hit him up or he'd hit, hit me up like, "Hey, bro, I'm bored. Let's go. Let's go eat Blaze. We'll go to Blaze. Jeez, so, then we'll just fucking split that shit in half. And just eat that shit, bro. Real what's homie. Up? What's up, my boy? Hey, blink twice if you need help, my boy. <laughs> I played that like three times. <laughs> Damn, bro. I know Atlanta was. I know Atlanta is stressful for you, gang. Yeah, I'm not, bro. Shit. Bro, LA is a city of opportunities, bro. How many times I got to tell you? LA is where you're gonna live a good life, bro. You see this camera? Yeah. It's all you need, bro. <laughs> it's all you need and you'll be good. Yeah, I don't know. I would, but I wanna start from the bottom again. Bro, what? How are I you not that that's where that's where you gotta start, bro. Me, look at this. I I ain't getting paid to be recording right now, but we all start somewhere, bro. When I get paid. I'm not gonna regret this shit, bro. Like where I'm starting from, you know. We all start from somewhere, bro. I'm not getting paid to record right now, but I just to record because I got love for this shit. And I want to do this. You could do the same, bro. You just gotta be. You just gotta. You just gotta be hungry for it. That's it. I could honestly ask for a client transfer. You know, there's a Honda out here too. But why do you want to work at a fucking nine to five, bro? I'm literally trying to. I'm literally telling you about investing in a camera so you could do YouTube. And you're talking about, oh, I'm just gonna transfer to a Honda because you work at a dealership. Bro, the goal is for to, for you not to work a nine to five, bro. Y'all see where we at, big fellas? We're at In and Out with it. You feel me? I have to bring the homie out real quick to eat some fucking In and Out since all he has at Atlanta is fucking Jacks. Big Jack in the box, bro. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Everywhere, bro. <laughs> that shit is everywhere, bro. Hell no. Nah. Big Jack in the box, head ass. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Jesus AK Flocko back for another video. Yes, sir. As a lot of y'all saw, picked up the homie yesterday. No, he's in town doing his thing. He linked up. I don't know who they were, but he linked up with some females. I just dropped them off. I was like, yo, buddy, do your thing, bro. I don't know who you with, but if you feel responsible, he took a bottle or whatnot. See, I just hope the homie woke up good. You feel me? But yeah, what's it called? Um, A lot of people been asking me, hey, bro, on your skits, on your TikToks, you have that same hoodie. You wear the same shorts, those Lakers shorts, and you always wear these Uggs, babe, bro. Let me tell y'all something real quick, bro. I got good clothes. I got Polo, Ralph Lauren. I got a uh, True Religion. I got I got a uh, fucking uh, Levi's denim. I got a lot of shit, bro. I got a lot of shit that I haven't even worn. You feel me? I got Supreme. Let me tell you guys something. Let me give you guys some good advice. It don't matter how hard you work or what you have, bro. The goal is never to look. Like you're financially stable or to look like you're rich or to look like you got money, bro. The goal is to have money. To be financially stable. Fuck looking like you got it, bro. Fuck that. I don't want to look like I have it in cap, bro. I don't do that shit. When I have it and when I really am in my bag, that's when I'm going to wear everything y'all want to see me with, bro. I don't give a fuck if you see me in this fit for the next 30 days, bro. 40 days. It don't fucking matter to me, bro. I'm going to wear some good shit when I'm rich and when I'm making, when I got money, bro. 
right now, this is my work outfits, bro. You feel me? I record, I work. I'm doing everything I can to make it, babe, bro. You feel me? Fuck looking like I got it. I'm going to make sure I have it first. You feel me? Bro. I got to get out of here. I have to get out of here, bro. Who eats that shit, bro? Put y'all already in the fifth, though. I'm a, I had to be the drippiest motherfucker on earth, bro. Out of all my family members, all my friends, everybody, I'm the drippiest, bro. I got the most drip. Even when I'm not trying, look at this. Even when I'm not trying, I got the best drip out of everybody, bro. Don't at me, bro. Anybody want to compete with me with the best fits, with the best closets, holla at me, bro. I'm taking all, I'm taking all fades when it comes down to the drip. No cap. You see this fool right here? I'll literally beat the shit out of this fool right here, bro. No cap. Hey, Jeff, bro. I didn't know you had a job at the Northridge Mall, babe, bro. I didn't know you had a job here, bro. As soon as I thought it couldn't get any fucking worse, bro. Oh, my God. What kind of freaky-ass shit people on, bro? Check. Babe, let's go. Let's get out of here. Bro, every time I see somebody... Point at that shit. Point at that. Every time I see somebody with that shit on, bro, we gotta run ones. We gotta run the ones, bro, because that should be illegal. That's copyrighting Polo Ralph Lauren. That's illegal right there, bro. Whoever allowed that shit, there's to get fucked up. And whoever I see that with, it's gonna get fucked up by me. Another thing, fellas, don't come to the mall. Don't come to the mall. I wasn't even supposed to be here. I came to walk. I came to browse around with my baby, with my girl. But every time we come, it's like either she wants one thing or I want one thing. We end up wasting like, it's like $100 is the, the new dollar bill nowadays, bro. It's like, I work a nine to five. Well, not nine to five, a seven to Seven to five. I work a seven to five. She worked a nine to five. We make that shit what? I make a hundred dollars in four hours. I come to the mall, I waste it in like ten minutes. Ain't that crazy? Don't come to the mall. Alright fellas, so I got the peach rings and I got the little mangoes. I'm gonna do a little taste test before I head out back home. So these are the mangoes right here. You feel me? Let's get a little taste test. Uh Now let's do the peach, man, the peach rings. You see, these, you could taste the, you know how peach rings normally got like, like salt or whatever the fuck it has on it, like sugar or whatever. Yeah, that that's what kills it. You feel me? I feel like they were, if it was just the plain peach rings and shit with no with no sugar added on it, it would have been like solid like nine out of ten. With the salt on it, I get like a seven point five out of ten. But the mango ones, the mango joint is heavy, bro. Hey, man, go follow the lady again. Once again, go follow the lady. That's her at right here. You feel me? That's her number. Go follow her. Uh, whenever she out here, tap in with her, man. Get the mango ones. Tell her I'm Flacco sent you. You feel me? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. That's a good little vlog. Good little welcome back vlog. I'm going to start vlogging. I'm about to start doing more videos and shit. And still working on shorts, you feel me? Since that's what a lot of people like, I'm still going to be doing that. But yeah, man, I'm back home. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And yeah, right now I'm about to shower. I'm about to edit the video so I can post it. I took a shit. That Canes wasn't too good. Hey, babe. Babe. What do you think I should do? Should I take a shower? 
Should I take a shit and then shower? Or should I shower and then take a shit? What makes more sense? Take a shit and shower. Take a shit and shower. I was about to shower and then take a shit. Imagine I wipe my ass and that shit comes out hella watery. Like I just, oh hell nah, yeah. I'm gonna take a shit and then shower. That's what I'm gonna do.